All right, as a addendum to the first video on something I sort of forgot, it's going to be pretty quick, so pretty quick video, but it is important. Uh, go to lighting. This is above your hierarchy, and create a reflection reflection probe. Just one. They are very important. If you ever go into a tent and you see that the bullets are very dark and the I guess supports of the of the uh, of the table are pretty dark and then you go into the game and everything's a little flat and then you try and reload and you look down and the bullets are fl are black and said you're yeah that's that's cuz the reflection probe doesn't exist or hasn't been baked so uh, kind of an important thing I don't know why I overlooked it but I did um, so it's important that it goes extends all the way out to the tent and back to there just all the way over the whole map oh, where's that center dot a little bit high up a little bit lower all right and uh, you can click bake on the unity bake but sometimes it breaks the lighting that you baked before and then you gotta rebake your lighting which can be an issue on bigger maps so we go to the bakery and we have a nice little button called render reflection probes and there we go two seconds no problems didn't break any lighting and you now have a reflection probe make sure the reflection probe extends all the way over to the tent so that there's reflections happening there um, kind of a simple concept that a lot of map makers overlook. I've overlooked it a few times. That's it. Uh, just a little video covering ref reflection probes. You guys have a good day or night, whatever time it is, but have fun making your maps. And don't forget your reflection probes. They're very important. Bye.